Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Way of the Hunter. Um, we've got a bit of an interesting one today. Um, the Way of the Hunter devs have blessed us with another paid DLC. This one I actually bought. Uh, it is the Kowaski, um, Kowaski DLC. There, you can you get four uh, UTVs, all different. That they're they will all function the same. You get this red and this blue. They're this different colors. And then you get a green and a white, and they're, they're all the same. Um, actually, I think the handling is different on these, and they are slower. I gotta take a look at both of them. So we're gonna claim all of them. We're gonna take a look at all of them. So first, my, one of my favorite places to uh, to take a UTV is um these sand dunes over here on on uh Diga moon they're a lot of fun and i think we're first going to check out the the neon the 2023 le or whatever it is so it looks very sporty i gotta say oh, what's the i don't remember where the camera button is there we go camera so we got odometer there's a fuel level it is in four wheel drive Notice it's on, start, I'm just looking at everything. I'm actually gonna press the photo mode real quick. These are, these, they look very cool, I gotta say. Um, and it is very fast. I can immediately feel how fast it is. Oh, and they are way more responsive than the, um, than the normal ones, which is pretty cool. Ooh, these things feel really smooth, I gotta say. They still do barrel rolls. They feel just so snappy and like responsive. I don't know. Kind of hard to describe, but they, they feel great. Holy. Oh, they got some air, con air controls? Hold on. And also, they also sound different. I was going to say, I, 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 they do sound a bit different, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, damn, does it feel really good? Really snappy? Okay. You know what I want to do? Damn, I uh, am really good at doing that, I think you can see. Holy shit. Yeah, this is uh this is awesome. <laughs> so this one feels pretty good. Let's uh, we're gonna check out the other one now. Donk. Oh my god. Whoops. I keep accidentally hitting them while trying to get a good thumbnail shot. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've checked out this one, we're going to go check out the other one. I think this is probably going to be the one I'm going to be using more than the other one, but we'll see. Okay, well, I've uh, officially killed it, so <laughs> here we go. Well, I guess now we're going to check out this one. I'll take the green one. Now, the difference, we can look at this, we're going to take a, I'm just going to show a quick look at the stats, um, and I probably should have done this earlier, so maybe this will go in before. Um, 
We're going to first take a look at the Jeep's head. So the Jeep has a low speed, a slow acceleration, and is agile handling. If we look at something like the UTV, all the UTVs in this game are the same. They all have high speed, average acceleration, and around about the average handling. Now, the four new UTVs that were added in this DLC, the uh, Mule uh, Pro FX has medium speed, fast acceleration, and average handling. So it's going to be a slower version of the Vega Deluxe. Uh, sorry, it's going to be a slower top speed, but it's going to accelerate faster, um, and it's going to handle around the same as the Vega Deluxe. Now, the uh, 2023 SLE Neon, uh, 2023, yes, LSLE, um, is, is a bit different. This one has very high speed, very fast acceleration, and has very heavy handling. I think heavy is like the snappiest handling, but I could be wrong. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yes, we're going to take a look at how this one performs now. Uh, see if it performs any better than the one from before. So it is definitely slower. You can immediately feel it being slower. And yeah, the handling is not quite as responsive. I can still do barrel rolls in it though, so you know that's good. Yeah, this thing is just not as. This thing just does not beat that other one. That other one was so good. I think it was so much fun to drive. This thing is just. Not quite the same. Oh my goodness. What the sh shit? Um. Yeah, so that happened. So yeah, um. I know I didn't play this one as much as I did the other one, but I feel like the other one was probably the more the better one anyway. Um. They look really cool though. I gotta say both of them do. Now there is actually one thing I did forget to do and it is this. Um, we are gonna jump on the, the hood of the car. I, I have pulled it into here. Uh, no problem at all. And uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go right here. We're gonna center ourselves. We're gonna go make sure our photo mode is paused and we're gonna hit escape to main menu. Um. Well, I want to see. I'm curious now. What might happen if I go and reload the game now that my head is inside of the car? I'm not really sure, honestly. We'll see. Oh my goodness. Man, I just want to do what I did that one time where I launched it through the roof. I don't know why I can't do that now. I was gonna say, why do I feel so tall? I think I'm floating. So, one more thing I wanted to just quickly try. I don't know how I managed to get the car to float. Um, but one more thing I just quickly wanted to do is, uh, if you stand on the vehicle, it's very easy when you're standing higher than you're supposed to be. Um, but if you, uh, you know what I gotta try now? This is a much easier way to get onto the roof, I gotta say. I actually did it properly. So I love how I came into this episode, into, into this video, and I was like, "Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some cool stuff with the UTV," and I was gonna make it fly, and I just managed to make myself float. So I made the the, the guy float, um, which is interesting. <gasps> 
but um I wanted to just I but I wanted to show off was uh was this. And well yeah, you ooh. Don't even ask me what the hell um well um besides that uh what i wanted to show was this it uh it flying but you know yeah um i'm gonna finish this episode off here <laughs> guys if you guys didn't enjoy you guys can like it and if you guys want to get notified next time i upload you guys can subscribe comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next um if you guys enjoy this one but anyway this is from gator spy and i'm out peace